Hi everybody, it's me, Emily. Today I have a speed build for the area around my next cranny. I'm going to be decorating this shop and trying to make it super colourful and kid cool. I am really excited for this build, so I do hope that you all enjoy it. If you do end up liking this video, please remember to leave me a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up, as well as making sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see everything which I build in the future. I'm just heading on up to the area where I have put my next cranny. It is right along the edge of this land bridge and then on this higher cliff I am just waiting for the Able Sisters to move in so that that way both of my shops will be right next to each other which I think will make them super accessible and easy to find on my island especially for whenever I have visitors over to do some shopping. The very first thing which I want to do is start to place down some pathing just to kind of extend out of the path from this land bridge and bring it right across to my shops. You will see unfortunately Lloyd is still here. I wanted to build the blue incline right leading up to my Abel's but I didn't have the right amount of bells to pay him off yet. So once I've earned some more bells, which should happen quite soon, I just need for some of my fruit trees to grow in, then I will be able to pay him off and have that incline there. And once I do that, I will make sure to finish out this pathing. My next cranny is still in its first stage, so before it got fully upgraded yet. And so all this means is that it doesn't have the kind of brown patio which will form once I spend the right amount of bells to have it upgrade. So for now it's just kind of being positioned like this, but eventually that will change. It shouldn't really impact my build though because it will still look the same once it upgrades. It won't like move any of my items out of the way or anything like that. I decided to come through with the sand pathing to create a section that led right up towards the door of the next cranny. It's kind of an awkward section because you have the drop off box on the left so to centre it it's kind of tricky. I came through with this really really colourful tile and I will just pre-warn you I don't end up sticking with that and all I'm going to do here is add in my grey tiles and just finish up all the pathing in this area. So I did also add in a large block over to the left here so that I can create something there. And then in this gap I am using this super cute host design, I think it looks absolutely adorable. And then I'm also using this orange. If at any point any of you need any of the codes which I use in this build, all you need to do is just leave me a comment and I will make sure to send you the creator code. But I do believe I am nearly done with picking out all the codes I want to use on this island and so as soon as I'm done with that I will create a video where I list them all so that you can really have this good bank of kid core designs that you can come back to when you want to choose new codes for your island. I used this iron fencing up along the side but I felt like it made the area a bit too closed off which is why I took away some of that. And then I just came through to pick up some items which I thought would work well. I did decide to kind of show you all the furniture which I chose out. So that if you're trying to create your own kid core island or a kid core build, you can see which furniture pieces I felt like would work well. And hopefully that will give you an inspiration or a kind of look at what furniture pieces I would normally use in a build like this. And it was right here that I did decide to kind of remove this pathing and switch it out to a more simple grey tile. The reason why I decided this was because I want to create a construction area near to my next cranny and I felt like all of the bright colour was a bit too much for that because if you were doing a construction zone the floor would probably just be made out of some type of concrete or slate or something like that rather than a really colourful area. I used the blue fencing here, I think it's called the iron fence, however eventually I will be switching this out and using the rope fencing, I just haven't had that recipe turn up yet so I don't have it, but as soon as I get the chance to, I will be switching this out to rope fencing because I think it will just look a little bit more construction-y. And then because I got rid of the bright coloured tiles in that one section, I decided to replicate that and use frog tiles over here so that those bright tiles weren't kind of halfway in the build. I just took them out completely. And the construction sign, I 
think works so well. I really love it for some reason. I think it's probably just because the colours are the same as Nooks Cranny. Nooks Cranny has a lot of orange and blue in it, and this is orange and blue. And then I'm just fencing out that construction area because normally you see them kind of fenced away or blocked off so that people don't go and kind of get injured in them. One of my favourite things to have nearby my shops is somewhere to sit. This is just because, as I mentioned, I do like to open up my island for people to come and do shopping, especially if I have a rare furniture piece available. So it's nice to have somewhere to sit and wait whilst they do their shopping. And then right here I am doing the very famous tricycles. I think I have seen so many people put tricycles outside of their next cranny because it looks as if Timmy and Tommy rode their bikes here and parked them up outside. It is so cute. So that definitely isn't my own idea to put tricycles outside of the shop. I have seen that. I think it was on Reddit but I saw it and yeah lots of people have done it now and it looks so cute because the tricycles are so tiny they are absolutely timmy and tommy sized i am on team tommy by the way i think he is so cute and at the start of the game when he would walk around with his tiny flag he was so cute but timmy is definitely very sweet as well i'm just placing that block and coin together which I thought made sense because it's a shop so having a coin outside worked and then using that cypress plant again I really like that the cypress plant was in a pot because I felt like it worked very nicely as it looked a bit more realistic that it was in that pot this was a build that I did struggle with quite a bit you'll see I kind of spent quite some time looking back in my pockets trying to figure out what I wanted to do and I was just a bit stuck with what I could place that looked good. At this early point in the game I am still quite limited for furniture pieces and so even though I do try to collect as much as I can I don't have that whole kind of arsenal of pieces to use when it comes to decorating. This mountain bike I really did want to include it because if Timmy and Tommy have ridden their tricycles then maybe one of your bigger villagers or even our own character could have rode their bike up here and I just was trying to figure out where I could put it that it would look good and I did eventually settle on this area right here just tucked away into the side. I did try to use the jinx machine quite a few times I think the issue was that I couldn't get it to look right without it being way too big because it is quite a tall furniture piece. Now what I did decide to do here was just remove some of these cliffs I think I built them up a bit too big and I feel like that was what was throwing me off with this build was that I had so much space to decorate so once I cut that down it just felt a lot more accessible because those few furniture pieces I had I would be able to use rather than struggling to try and make room for them all. Here yeah, I thought I was going to add some more stone pathing but I actually changed my mind and created this heart out of sand and I, it worked really nicely. It kind of frames the edge of the nook's cranny and so then I did decide to replicate what I did up by the front and use those frog tiles on this as well. So then to give me a space to work on and place some furniture, I came through with these grey stone pathing just to kind of give me an easy spot to work through. I like to always have some type of pathing under the items which I'm going to use just because it makes it look more finished in my opinion. But that is definitely just a personal preference of how I like to decorate. I've seen lots of people who use kind of no pathing at all and it still looks amazing. But just for me, I find it easiest if I have some path below where I'm putting my furniture. And here was where I found space for the drinks machine. I really like the idea of having a drinks machine because if it's a hot summer's day like it was on this day that I was filming, you definitely might like to stop off and buy yourself a cool drink. As well as just the fact that I do feel like outside of shops, there are often vending machines. 
and this yellow balloon is probably the favourite furniture piece that I've placed on this whole build. I really like the balloons because they kind of wiggle in the wind and it just looks so much more interesting than some of the static items because the movement kind of draws your eye which is why I thought it was cute. And then likewise this fire flower because it moves as well I think it just helps it bring some motion into your builds. So perhaps if you ever feel like the build is looking a bit static, maybe you could try adding in some of these furniture pieces which move. Even ones which move when you touch them are really interesting because if somebody happens to kind of click on the item and then it moves, that's always so exciting. That's one of my favourite things to find is if you find a new item that moves, I genuinely get so excited over that because I think it's so cute. I finished up this pattern of flowers which kind of line where the incline is and at this point the issue which I had was that the green and the yellow was looking really bright in those froggy tiles so I did decide to switch it up for this 4x4 pattern. The only reason why I decided that is just because it matches the colour of the flowers more, so those flower ring that I made, the 4x4 tile has the same colours as those, so I just decided to add that in because I thought like it looked a bit more cohesive than just the green and the yellow that was in those frogs. The next furniture piece which I decided to place was this large mushroom. I felt like this would be good because as you climb this incline I didn't want for it to suddenly feel like you were looking down on the area so I wanted to still include some tall furniture pieces so that you would have something to look at as you climb the incline. And I will of course be decorating my Ables in another build but I want to go with a bit of a different vibe for my Able sisters. I want to go with more of a pink or kind of pastel-y kid core version. And all I'm doing here is just switching out the sand under those codes to dark, or not dark dirt, just to the regular dirt, because I felt like that worked a little bit better. I wanted to try out the fencing to border it off, but I realised it made it a bit hard to run towards the shops, which is why I decided to just leave it unfenced. And what can I say, I just hope everybody is careful and nobody slips. <laughs> So all I'm doing here was just trying to figure out which of these mushrooms I wanted to have and because I already have a green mushroom nearby to that area I went with a red one. I just turned it around because I actually didn't really want a face showing and that was it. Let me take you on a final walkthrough. We have Timmy and Tommy's tricycles and this little construction area the mushroom, a nice space to stop and sit if people are coming to your island to shop, the vending machine and then this large mushroom. You'll see I actually added a spinning star on top of that which is so cute. And so with that I would like to thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed this build and could maybe take some inspiration from it for your own kid caught island or even if you just want to decorate your nook's cranny. I really hope this will help. As I say, thank you all so much for watching. Please do remember to leave me a like and a comment on this video and consider subscribing so that you can see what I create next. I can't wait to see you all next time. Bye.